What are we doing, guys? Come on, good grief. Um, reason I'm doing that, the reason you're watching this video is probably because you saw what happened after qualifying. They did an inspection, um, post-qualifying inspection. They found out the guys who were starting on the front row, Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch, had something illegal, so they their times were disallowed so they went from 178 miles an hour to zero just like that um the guy who does all the stuff said it was something in the rear toe um something illegal in the back of the car i guess i mean there's so many technicalities and stuff but it wasn't only those two actually there were 11 other teams that failed inspection and got their time zeroed so after Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch, there's Joey Logano, Clinton Boyer, Kyle Larson, Ryan Blaney, Eric Almirola, Jimmy Johnson, Paul Menard, Austin Dillon, William Byron, Dale Wallace Jr., and Casey Kane. If you remember yesterday, for my favorites, I had Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano. Those were three of my favorites, and my race pick was Kyle Larson. So, yeah, that that's not looking too well for me right now. And William Byron's back there, too, and I had him as a surprise. These cars are likely still going to be fast and get up to the front, but you never know. Like last year, we saw a wreck on lap one mid to back pack. So if there's a wreck on lap one and it takes out Kevin Harvick or Kyle Busch, that's huge. Not just because they're points and they're battling for the points lead and who gets 15 playoff points at the end of the regular season, but give someone else an opportunity to win. I mean, Truex is still up there. Um, we'll get to him later, but it gives someone else an opportunity to win. Like, maybe Chase Elliott can get his first career win. Maybe a guy like, um, I don't know, maybe Daniel Suarez can get his first career win. Maybe Brad Keselowski or Denny Hamlin can get their first wins of the season. It opens up so many doors that these guys are starting back there and something could happen to them. So, with that being said, it's a mess. It's just a mess. With that being said... Chaos of these 13 guys getting zeroed, illegal fied, um, taking L's or oofs or whatever you want to say. It screwed up the starting lineup. So now Daniel Suarez, who originally qualified third, is on the pole, his first career pole. Denny Hamlin moved up to second after qualifying fifth, I think. Uh, Eric Jones, I know he qualified seventh or eighth, and now he's up to third. Kozlowski's up to fourth. Jamie McMurray qualified tenth. He's up to fifth. Chase Elliott, he qualified 11th, and I was like, great, another another eh weekend where he gets a barely top 10 or finishes just outside. He started 6th now. I mean, that doesn't mean he's going to have a great day, but it's better than where he was starting, and he has time to make adjustments if he's still up there. Um, don't get me wrong, I think Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, those guys will charge up to the front if they're not involved in anything. But, you know, this is big. It can give a guy like Suarez, Hamlin, Jones, these guys that don't have wins... To have a better opportunity to stay at the front. Not only that, but to get points. To get stage points, stage wins. So, that being said, who who do you think is going to win now? I don't want to change anything because what if Kyle Larson wins? Or what if my favorites end up going up there and dominating the race? So, I'm not going to change anything. Um, I might throw in uh, Suarez in there. Uh, as a, eh, I'll say he's a favorite. Throw in Suarez as a favorite. Um, just because he had a fast lap, qualified third, now he's on the pole. So he gets clean air at the start of the race. Um, the JGR cars, Hamlin, Jones, throw them in there. Kozlowski, I don't know. I'll keep McMurray in my surprises. Might throw Chase Elliott in there as a surprise. But, yeah. So, with that being said, I'll see you after the race, I guess. It'll be interesting to see how it all turns out, to see if the big three get another win. Or if maybe a guy like Brad Keselowski, Denny Hamlin can get their first wins of the year. Or maybe a new winner like Daniel Suarez or Chase Elliott, they get their first career wins. It'll be interesting to see. So, qualifying's crazy. The inspections are crazy. Uh, good for Truex. This makes him laugh because he's not cheating, I guess. <laughs>